Hey guys, welcome back to the channel guys. Today we will show you how to do an oil change on Toyota Highlander. This one will be the generation from 2002 all the way until 2008 guys. We have the 2.4 4 cylinder engine here, stay with us. Please subscribe, let's grow that channel together guys. Many helpful videos and many more to come. We will probably have 40, 50 videos on the channel for that Toyota Highlander how to do things. So please subscribe. This is what we're going to need, 5W30 oil right here. Okay, oil filter, we're using Fram, that's what it's provided to us. Okay, 4386, but you always double check what you need. And the manual now guys, if you go to, to the back that where it says capacities. Okay, let me just switch here, I'm gonna show you where to look for the oil capacity and stuff. Because some, some models, some years might differ. So it's always, always good to check. Okay, right here. Okay, so if you go to page 407, some might be different, but check again guys. We have the uh, 2AZ, which is 2.4 engine, okay, right here. So, you can see, with oil filter, it asks for 3.8 liters or 4 quarts. Okay, that's what we need now. So, you will not even need to jack the car up, guys. You need a 14 millimeter wrench, okay, right there. And, okay, let me... Let me show you now what we will need to do. Okay, I think you turn the light on. And let me show you where the oil plug is. Okay, right there. Towards the front. You can see towards the back on the passenger side. Okay, next to the frame there. So go ahead, take it off and let it drain guys for uh, at least I would say 5 to 10 minutes. It's good to do that with warm oil. But careful not to burn yourself on the oil, on the exhaust or anything like that. So if you don't feel comfortable, just do it with cold, but let it drain really good for a longer time. Alright guys, you can get a tool that fits the oil filter or you can buy the pliers for the oil filter. But you need to get the small ones, because if they're the big ones, they will not fit. And it's uh, right next to the port on the front side. Okay, it's, it's easy to access. Okay, it's right there. So we still have the plug open, we're going to remove the oil filter now, some oil will leak out of course. Okay, you can see. So we'll just go ahead and unscrew it, always wear gloves guys. I don't know why we don't, but you should, you must wear gloves. Okay, and we'll just go ahead and remove it, all the way, okay, right there, you can see the oil filter. Always recycle those guys, don't throw them in the trash can. So we're going to open the new filter, the oil now. You see what we need to do guys, stay with us to make sure you do a, a good oil change. And uh, at the end we will summarize the things that you should never forget when you're done with the oil change. What to check, what to look for that way. You're not going to risk in the engine, okay. So now we're going to fill up, okay, the middle hole right here you need to fill out, fill in. Uh, a little bit of oil that way you will prevent uh, you prevent dry start it's called dry start because it will not be getting oil for a few seconds you will be starving for oil apply some on that seal always apply oil that way next time it will be easy to take off the oil filter if you do not do that they tend to get stuck really really bad and it will be almost impossible to take it off so we'll just go ahead and install it now Okay, let me turn the light on, it's really, okay, really, really limited room there. Okay, just screw it on and get it tight by hand. Okay, you can see right there, so just get it tight by hand, don't use any tools, but grab it really, really strong and get it out. Now, now we need to go ahead and install the oil plug. Okay, right there with the 14 millimeter. Get this one tight as well. Do not leave it for later. Two things so far not to forget to get tight. The oil filter and the oil plug. If you do not get the oil plug tight from driving on the road, vibrations, you get loose. You leak the oil out and you need a new engine. Okay, that's good. Perfect, make sure you don't use impact or anything like that on the oil drain plug because you will screw up the oil pan. Alright guys, next we are going to get the 
Okay, you can see we're going to get the funnel now. Remove the old cap. Okay, perfect, like that. And we are going to uh, put four quarts of oil. Make sure you do not overfill it. Uh, some vehicles, if you overfill it, they will burn the oil through the exhaust and the catalytic converter will get plugged up because of the excessive amount of oil. So it's very, very important not to overfill them. Okay, right there, four coats, perfect, you can see. So we're going to remove the funnel, make sure you don't drop, uh, leak any oil on the exhaust, because uh, if you do, you will smell it, you will start, uh, you know, that burning smell of oil when you, when you drive the car. It will go away after a few minutes, but it just doesn't feel, feel good smelling it inside the car. Okay, so we're going to put the dipstick before we start the vehicle, it might be too much because the oil filter is still kind of empty okay we added some but it's not full all the way so let's see how much we got now okay it's all the way to the full actually all the way full now so what do we need to do next we need to go inside the vehicle guys okay and we are going to start it for for about a minute or two so a minute is uh, what it actually needs is only a few seconds, but let it run for about a minute. Okay. Perfect. And after that, we'll go ahead, turn it off when we're done with it. And you will need to wait about five minutes before you pull the dipstick. To get an accurate reading, make sure that you have it on a level ground as well. It's been about five minutes, we'll pull the dipstick, level ground, okay wipe it and let's get a reading again this one will be the accurate reading okay and you can see it's between low and high right now with four cords so we're going to add point two cords to fill it up all the way but do not uh, go over the top mark guys the full mark so that's it guys thank you guys for watching please subscribe let's go to that channel together and see you next time